What's going on everybody? On today's episode of Stoner Chef, we're going to make some potato salad with a twist. So I have four eggs in this pot of water and this pot of water for the potatoes. So I am going to turn these on and let them do their thing as I peel these potatoes. All right, all right. All right, so we're gonna start peeling these potatoes right now. Potato peeler, potato. Rinse off your potatoes. Then you just peel those motherfuckers. picture a co-worker you don't like or you know and you don't need to get them perfect if you don't want to if you like a little bit of the skin I don't mind the skin so I'm going to leave a little bit on got your knife Gonna cut it, cut it again into quarters. Place it on the plate. I have six potatoes, some of them are small, that's why I have six. Cut, cut, don't cut off your fingers. Don't nick yourself with the potato peeler. Uh, give yourself at least an inch of room in between the peeler and your fingertips. Watch your fingers, watch your fingers. Thanks for joining me today. My friend Melissa gave me this recipe. Uh, but there's a twist to it, and we'll get to that. Um, yeah. Potato salad with a twist. This is my first time making potato salad, because I hate mayonnaise. So I wasn't really sure what kind of potatoes to get. Uh, my friend's instructions were kind of vague. <laughs> there was really no measurements. So I'm just kind of guessing, you know? Like she said, you know, five, six potatoes, four or five hard boiled eggs. So. But, as far as like, how much mayonnaise to use, no measurements. Which we'll get to why I assume, but, yeah. The twist, so, the twist to this potato salad is instead of mayonnaise, I'll be using Greek yogurt as a substitute. I tried it with the cheddar cheese broccoli casserole on the last episode and I really enjoyed it. So my friend Melissa said, you know, 
I said, oh, you, you could substitute Greek yogurt for um, mayonnaise. And she was like, oh, well, here's the recipe. So, but it's not really a recipe, it's big. But anyways. So, all right. Eggs peeled. Water almost boiling. So, okay. Now. On the same thing, I'll get, I'm going to get two celery stalks. Cut them up. Uh, if I can get it off the thing. What the fuck? One, two. Okay. So then with this celery, I'm going to cut off this long white part here. And I'm just going to cut it super fine. Or as fine as I possibly could. trying not to cut off my fingers. I think I'll need the other celery stock. And then you just want to group them all together and just kind of chop away. Get the pieces small as possible. Oh, I also don't have the pickle because I don't like pickle. And uh, what was the other thing? I think that was it, just the pickle. Oh, and the onion, the onion. I don't have an onion because she said only to use eighth an onion. So I was like, why? I'm not just going to use eighth and onion because I'm not going to buy an onion and only use an eighth of it. So I was like, I'll just use some onion powder instead. And then maybe if I like this, I'll make a bigger thing and then I'll be able to use more of an onion. Let's check on the water. Okay, probably got another minute. So, 
zoom in on that celery. See it over there? See it? Yeah. All right. So we'll be back in one moment once the water starts boiling and stuff, and I'm going to dump the potatoes in. All right, folks. All right. So the water is boiling for the eggs. I'm going to put a lid on that shit, turn off the burner, and gently remove the eggs from the heat and just let them cook in the water for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then we're going to take those out, put them in some cold water with a little bit of ice and uh, let them cool down before we peel them. This water is just about to boil so we're gonna throw the potatoes in there in a few seconds. See it there? See it there? You can see it going. You can see it going. It's about to go. It's about to go. It's about to go. I feel like that's the sound the waters are made. The, the bubbles are making in there. All right, so potatoes, potatoes. Oh my God, the plate's gonna break. Hold on, we're gonna die. I don't want the plate to break. All right, so. Okay, we're alive. So, just gonna grab some. Gently plop them in. Gently plop them in. Gently plop them in. You don't want to splash this water on you, it will hurt. Gently, gently. Boop. All right. So we're gonna let those do their thing, and we'll be back soon to create the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, fucking dressing mixture, liquid mixture that you pour, that you mix with the potatoes and hard boiled eggs. I don't know what you call it, folks. Anyways, be back soon. All right, it's been about 12 minutes, I think. I forgot to set a timer. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure, so I hope they're done enough. But we're just gonna gently place them into our bowl of ice water. Some of the ice has melted. What could you do? Gently place it in the bowl of ice water. Gently grab with tongs. Gently transfer, gently place. One more time. You could do it, RJ. One more time. All right, yes, success, success, success. We're gonna let those cool off before we peel them. Potatoes are boiling over here nicely. Look at that, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, we'll be back soon. Thank you for joining me still. Ho! Hacksaw Jim Duggan. He was great. Um, <laughs> all right, folks. So we're back. We're going to crack these hard-boiled eggs. I hope they're cooked enough. And then we're going to put them on this plate, and we're going to cut them, and we're going to put them in that green bowl that's behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Whatever. And uh, the potatoes are done boiling. I got them turned off. We're going to drain those as soon as we're done here. I'm like so scared. Oh god. I hate peeling hard boiled eggs. They break, they rip. Especially when you don't know if it's cooked all the way. 
and you're scared. Yolk is just gonna come flying out at you. See, I just ripped off half of the egg. Half of the egg. Feel solid though. I think they're good. God damn it. Bullshit. Okay. So I think these other ones I'll be able to crack a little harder. Try to get all the pieces of the shell off. Well, you shouldn't try, you should get all the pieces of the shell off because you don't want to eat that. It could do some damage. Ah, that one was nice. That one was nice and easy. more difficult that one was. Okay. Oop. Get that shell out of there. Double inspect them. You could always rinse them off underwater just to be super safe. Which is probably what I'll do. <laughs> So I'm just also going to cut these into like quarters. Or maybe, yeah, yeah. this one. All right. So, all right, folks, we're just going to drain the potatoes. Pot of potatoes right now. Okay, Woo. 
So those are in there. Let them drip for a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, all right, all right. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna take the potatoes. I got the celery in the bowl already. Gonna throw the potatoes in there. We're gonna get the eggs that we just cut up. We're gonna dump those in there. Bang, bang. All right, so now this is where I get, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. So, I'm just going to do about a cup of Greek yogurt. I don't know. I don't know what a good starting point is. Ew. So, I'm just going to start with the cup. Or about a cup. About a cup. Now, we're just going to scoop that in. Okay, put that to the side. Hold on one second, folks. Okay, so we got that. Instead of an onion, I'm just gonna sprinkle in a little onion powder. A little dash. She said a little mustard. So, a little mustard. Salt. Pepper. Ooh. Some paprika. Okay. Now, I'm going to get my big spoon. And I guess I'm just going to mix it. Mix it around good. I might need to add more Greek yogurt or something. I don't know. Maybe not once I get going here. Could you guys see the mixing? Sorry. I'm trying to like. I'm not trying to like mash them either. You know what I mean?
seems a little like dry to me. Gonna have to get some more yogurt real fast. Greek yogurt's good, man. Since I added more Greek yogurt, I'm gonna add a smidge more paprika. A smidge more mustard. A smidge more salt. smidge more pepper. Once again, this is my first time ever making potato salad. I hate mayonnaise, so I've never made this. I uh, don't eat it because of the mayonnaise. But once I found out you could substitute Greek yogurt for mayonnaise, I was like, well, let me try it. And I feel like this is just a big bowl of mashed potatoes now. Like, you know what I mean? So, okay. You guys see that? Just looks like mashed potatoes now to me. But uh, I'm gonna wrap it and put it in the refrigerator for a little bit, let it cool down, and uh, I'll be back to try it and let you guys know how it is and maybe alter it. All right, folks, so I have the uh, potato salad with a twist of Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise here sitting in a bowl. Uh, it looks like just like a big pile of mashed potatoes to me. I don't know <laughs> if I like boiled them too long or something. Uh, let me know. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to try it. I don't know how it's going to be. Eggs and potatoes mixed with yogurt and celery and paprika and mustard. And there's a piece of egg there, which I don't mind egg. So I'll, I'll go with the egg piece too. Yeah, maybe it'll make it better. Uh, it's not bad. I think I just need to add more flavor. Pepper and stuff. But it's not bad. Not bad. A little weird. A little weird. But again, I 
think it just needs more pepper, maybe a little garlic, and it would be all right. I'll have to tinker with it. This is my first time making it. So yeah. So yeah. Give me some suggestions in the comments below, please. And, uh, whoa, let me zoom out. Leave me some suggestions in the comments below, please. And let me know, uh, if I did something right or wrong, dude. I don't know. Um, but thanks for joining me on this episode of Stoner Chef. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, folks, stay safe out there. Give this video a like. Give it a share. Share it with the community. Uh, be safe. Peace.